high-speed chase through Sheboygan County, local thrift store facing uncertainty after theft, job seekers invited to join networking group. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. Another five positive test returns out of 82 received placed Sheboygan County's positive test rate at 6%, according to the daily summary issued by Wednesday by the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health. The 82 test returns is the lowest in months and peer information excluded or included in the daily report. The county DPH was participating lower test numbers due to the diversity of the supply, supplies to other priority areas within the US. And that is not in necessarily indicative or lower incidence of coronavirus locally. With 12 persons recovering from their illness, the active number of cases within the county of those, seven are hospitalized for treatment in all, 1,090 county residents have experienced an infection of COVID-19, and nine are still diseased. Within Wisconsin, 8,372 persons received their test results since Tuesday, 545 of those, or 6.5, or 6 were positive, placing the seven-day average at 8.4%. 12 more persons have died, raising that total to 1,142. 38 more persons with COVID-19 have entertained or entered hospitals for treatment. Wisconsinites are currently hospitalized with confirmed cases and of the disease in the hospital that you are waiting for. Persons are in the ICU with COVID-19 and 388 persons are not ventilators. The Wisconsin National Guard today is completing a two-day round of testing at the Kettle Moraine. Correctional institution west of Plymouth, this is the scene time or this is the second time a National Guard team conducted operations there. The last time, June 21st, or June 24th to 26th, they collected over 1,400 specimen at the faculty. Labor Day is coming on Monday, and that means a change in the garbage and recycling schedule for the city of Sheboygan. Of course, no collections will take place on the holiday shelf, so everything moves one day, with Monday's pickup moved to Tuesday and Wednesday and so on. So Friday collection that will take place on Saturday this week. Streets Department Supervisor David Groves also announced that the recycling Center will be closed on Monday, but will operate and their usual schedule for the rest of the week. There was a high-speed chase through Sheboygan County overnight and 2.02 a.m. Ozaki County after alerted of the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department of Car on motor, mo, motor by traveling at 99 miles per hour that refused to stop. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department coordinated it with Manitowoc County to set up a stop the car as it entered Manitowoc County. Spike strips blew out of the air's tires and made the driver a man from Illinois was charged with eluding and operating without a license. 
fringe benefits store and nonprofit that supports local animal welfare and natural nature cons conservation programs and organizations. While already being challenged, I officially do, so the pandemic, and when someone stole the catalytic converters from the store's vehicles, the added challenge of coming up with a more than $1,700 needed for repairs pushed it even closer to the bank. Manager Devin McCallan said the incident is a huge hit to their operations and that they said a GoFundMe campaign has been in hopes to lock, lock futures, money needed to the repair of the vehicle, and he is encouraging people to give whatever they can out of the help. In the two days since efforts were launched, $750 was raised toward the 1700th goal. Meanwhile, McMullen also warned that the students are, have similar thefts from high profile mechanicals kept near highway access on Sheboygan's south side happening around the same time that he urged people to pretend they're pretending while thanking them for their support. Shoreline Metro has moved into phase five of its plan to provide service under pandemic conditions. The change which began September 1st means all customers will still need to wear masks and face, face gears will be charged for all trips. Capacity has now increased to 50%, limiting or meeting a limit of 30 customers on Shoreline Metro buses and between eight, five and eight customers on the smaller Metro connection buses. All routes will operate from 5.45 a.m. to 8.45 p.m. weekdays on Saturday from 7.45 a.m. until 5.45 p.m. And that weekday morning and evening shuttle will also need to be having a work excuse provided. A job networking group has been founded by those in Sheboygan County whose jobs have been displaced by COVID-19. The effort is a joint proje project of Cus Consumer Credit Counseling Service and the United Way of Sheboygan County. The Job Seekers Networking Group will meet virtually every other week, offering tests by guest speakers interviewing tips and professional resume writing assistance, as well as balance, balancing and networking tips and money that way. So if you have a bank account, we can work on that. And it is all free. The group which begins next month will be limited to 20 persons and if you are interested, contact Consumer Credit Counseling by September 4th at 920-458-3784. And finally, even as the demolition of the Sheboygan Municipal Auditorium works to remove the structure itself, efforts are underway to preserve the memories of the many events held there and what it meant to those who attended. A website has been set up to both collect those memories and to enable people from to view stories from other community members. Mayor Mike Vandersteen said in the city publication, Sheboygan Insider, that is a gathering of stories began on a, a fewer months ago on the website armorystories.com. If an event there holds special meaning for you, you are encouraged to submit your memories so others can read it. And city staff will also be reviewing submissions and 
may follow up to record those stories in person for inclusion in the armory and documentary that is being produced. And that is all for today. Join me again next week for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.